Hey you, so today I'm heading to a doctor's appointment, a gynecologist to be exact. I know, too much information, but hey, that's the reality. I need to go every year. I made this appointment a few months ago because I decided to change doctors because the one I had before, the first one I had here in Puerto Rico, it's hard to get in contact with them. The phone rings, rings, rings. It's just annoying. So I decided to go to this other doctor, which is two females in one office. So we shall see, because I had a man before. So now I'm gonna try a female. And they were recommended to me by my doctor, my primary doctor. So we're heading there now, it's in Adol Rey. Hopefully everything goes well. Now I do have a little bit of a concern because I have the results for my mammogram and sonogram for my breast. And there's something, it says something there where it's like, it's benign, benign, is that the word? So it's not cancerous, but there is something on my right breast and there's something on my left breast. I don't know, a cyst and another thing, I, I don't quite understand it. So I'm hoping that this doctor can explain to me if it's something to be worried about or what is it, or they can explain a little bit further. I'm a little bit concerned about that, not gonna lie. So anyway, I'm heading there now, so we shall see, wish me luck. I'm done with the gyno. It only took two hours. I guess it was my first time and it was pretty packed in there when I got there. So but anyway, I'm done. That's what's important. And the good news is that there's nothing to worry about about my breast. Everything is okay. They just got to continue to observe it, you know, look at it every year, but everything else looks good. We got this. This is spinach and herbs. We got the chicken, cream cheese, alfalfa, and cheese. Let's make this. Let's put some cheese and some alfalfa. A little bit too much. Hold on. I need two hands here. It's done. Hey you, I have so much to tell you. Well, I'm gonna say I'm finally out of the house. I've been in the house for the past three days because I've been so sick. Sunday I woke up with a dry throat and achy bones, that pain all over your body, and a little bit of fever. Um, so all day, <clears throat> I felt like crap on Sunday. Monday, fever in and out. Tuesday, fever in and out. Then Tuesday night, I started sneezing like crazy. I started irritating my throat and then my throat started hurting so bad. So right now my throat feels like, every time I swallow, it feels like I'm swallowing shattered glass. It's a pokey pain. It's not the normal pain I'm used to when you have like throat infection. It feels horrible. And I couldn't sleep well because every time I swallowed, I would wake up. So it's really bad. So today I did a teleconsulta with my doctor. She wanted to know first what I have and all that stuff. and. Pretty much she didn't want me in the office. <laughs> so I told her everything. She said, it sounds like influenza, but it could be COVID, it could be anything. So come over here, I'll give you the lab orders so you can go get the, the labs done. You go see what you have. Let's see what you have first. I'm looking for a parking now. I'm here now to do the laboratories to see what the heck I have. So I have the paper here, which is CBC Microplasma, uh, Mycoplasma? I don't know, I'm reading, I, I don't know, I'm not feeling well, people. Influenza A, B, and SARS. So I'm doing all the testing, so let's go find out what the heck I have because I've been taking Dayquil and Panadol, which Panadol is like Tylenol, all these days, and it's like I'm sick of it already. I need something stronger, and I need something for what I have exactly. So hopefully the laboratories will let me know today or tomorrow morning what I have. Oh yeah, yeah, so much to do. But anyway, let's go take care of this now. Deja la cabeza derechita, yo te voy a avisar y vas a respirar hondo. Trata de no esto arrugar la nariz. Vamos, Ana, hondo, 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 ya pasó. Tengo los ojos. Sí, si no llora le hicimos mal. 
Okay. Respiro. Yo te aviso, yo te aviso, yo te aviso. Relajadita. Ok, vamos, hondo, 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 ya. Con esa, ¿Ves que el segundo lado quedó mejor? Porque ya está. So here's an update. I did three out of four test because one of them I have to come back tomorrow before 9.30 a.m. because they ran out of it. But then the other ones, one of them, I think the influenza takes up to one or two hours to get the results. I'll get everything by email. I think the COVID one takes up to 24 to 48 hours. So now I gotta wait all this time. It's just gonna take a long time to know what I have. I definitely have something. It's time to go home and maybe try to eat because I've been eating like crap. It is day five of me being sick. I'm still waiting on some of the results from the labs yesterday. And then I did the mycoplasma one today, this morning. I still have to wait. It's like one in the afternoon and I'm in bed because I can't take it. I haven't had a fever today and I think yesterday, but I'm starting to feel a little warm again. But my throat is just killing me in my ears. I learned my lesson. This takes too many days of going to the doctor labs and all this that by the time the doctor gets back to me i'm probably cured maybe next time i'll go to the hospital it's just i just don't like hospitals i don't like the environment being around more sick people and i just like being home and i know it's gonna be like six to eight hours in the hospital but they do it all at once and you get the results pretty quick so that's the good part but this time for now i am not going waiting for the results waiting for my doctor to get the results so then she can give me something i waited to the fourth day to call her so my bad on that but anyway uh, i need a nap hey you i am back i'm alive it is friday so the results are in drum roll please if you guessed covid yep you are right it's so weird because to my knowledge have never gotten covid and when i lived in new york that's when covid you know happened and new rochelle to be exact where i live was the epicenter at one point and i never got it so now that it's calmed down so much now i got it i think that somebody gave it to sergio my boyfriend he must have gotten it at work he got it from thursday to saturday sunday i woke up sick so that's what i'm thinking happened feeling better achy wise body wise but my throat i still feel you know shattered glass um and my ears <clears throat> but right now i'm leaving the house because i'm gonna go get some pills they're giving me if i want to take them and since it's the weekend just in case something happens during the weekend that i get worse or something I want to have these pills in hand so i'm not sure if i'm taking them so i'm gonna go get the prescription at the doctor and then go to walmart to fill it up and see what happens and just so you know the way they're treating me is like rest drink water eat well if your throat hurts suck on a ricola or a halls or whatever one of those things and take panadol or tylenol so that's how they treated me basically nothing special department of health actually called me um, i guess they call everybody that gets a positive and so they called me and asked me questions and stuff like that i also need to do another lab so i gotta go to the lab again because something she says gets lower when you get sick because it's the weekend she wants to make sure i am good before the weekend so she's making me do the lab, the CBC, to make sure that I'm still good. How are you supposed to take care of all these things when you're actually feeling like crap? Luckily, I feel better now, but I'm still sick and I can spread this. And I gotta go to the laboratory, I gotta go to the pharmacy. What, what can I do? I gotta take care of my health, right? 